We are live on Lamley YouTube. It is time for the Lamley Purge. Hope everyone is well. Hope everyone is having a nice Saturday. Oh, son of a... Actually, I had my live feed up. So I'll explain this a little bit because obviously there's going to be people watching this live. That's uh, what I'm hoping we'll do with most of you and then people watching this later. This is the first of I don't know how many, but I am purging the collection. I've uh, talked about this before. Obviously, I have a lot of cars and I have uh, a lot of Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars, especially. I have a pretty full Tomica Limited Vintage collection. Um, a pretty full Auto World collection, a whole lot of Mini GT, a whole lot of Tarmac Works Global 64. But the bulk of my collection is Hot Wheels and Matchbox, Hot Wheels especially, because I have a lot of basic and premium. I've talked about this. I can even show you. Um, I have like Convention, RLC. I'm sorry for the glare here, but... I have a lot of my premium Hot Wheels on display. There's some Tomica. And then the drag strip demons I have to fill in. Car culture starts around here at some point and then continues on and on and on. And then we'll continue over here. There's some, sorry for all the glare here, but there's, uh, what is that? NFT models and some other stuff that uh, I'll be organizing. And then the most current behind here are the most current Hot Wheels Premium. So like Car Culture, Fast Furious, Boulevard, everything else. So I'm pretty well covered on Premium. That's That will change someday when I run out of room and I'll have to figure that out. Um, but Basic, I hold over here. Hot Wheels Matchbox up here too. And... I don't have, I just, I A, don't have enough room, and B, don't seem to be referring to these basics as much. So I'm kind of trying to change things around a little bit and kind of clean up the collection, kind of move away. As you can see, I've got Acura here, and I'm just going through all of my creative options cases. We're going to start at A. I have all these cars organized by car makers, so Acura, Aston Martin, Alfa Romeo, so on and so forth, right? And um, Audi. And I'm, um, looks like I'm a little confused. Anyway, what I would normally do is just pull these out, start going through them, deciding what I want to keep, what I'm not. But I thought I could, you know, over a few weekends this summer, just live stream it while I talk about it, think through it. So production value on this is not going to be like, it's not going to be fast. If you want to, if you're watching this later, you can speed it up. But uh, if you want to watch, go away, come back. You're welcome to. I don't want to make these more than an hour. So we'll kind of stop at that point, or I might stop earlier. I don't know. It just depends on the day. But for the first two, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do some today, and then I'm going to do some tomorrow. I'll schedule that after I, I finish this live stream. And then, um, and I want your feedback. I want you to go, oh, yeah, keep that one. Don't keep that one. But the one thing is that some of you will be interested in telling me to, to get rid of them. Because everything I get rid of here... I'm going to give away or sell on whatnot. Those streams will start maybe next weekend. Um, I, I will let you know. I will leave uh, links in, on YouTube um, but uh, and on Instagram and Facebook and everything else. And the new threads, I'm on threads. They'll, uh, I'll make sure that those links are out there so that you guys can be a part of those streams where you can buy or win a lot of these cars. So let's get started. Honestly, I am not... I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'll talk a little bit about, so like I said, I'm car maker. I'm going to keep some of those, like if I decide to keep some of these cars, but I'm going to do some cross-section collecting now with my basics. So, for example, I've done this. Let me just pull this out. I've shown this before. I have all of the super treasure hunts organized by release. And on the other side, I have their basic counterparts. And I've been doing this for a few years now, maybe three or four, maybe four, eh, but I think about four or five years I've been doing this. And I've started the collection for 2023 as well. 
And what I like about collecting the super treasure hunts is not only is it a collection of supers, which is cool, but it also gives you a cross section of some pretty cool stuff. Some cars which I would collect, like this one, some cars that I would not like, oh, I don't know, maybe the vet here, maybe the Shelby here, um, but it gives me a cross section. So there's that collection. Then there's the Zamac collection, and it's the same thing. If I collect every Zamac, then I get a collection of cars that I might collect, like say, oh, I don't know, the R33 Skyline, and cars that I won't collect, like the Dodge Charger Drift Car or the McLaren P1, I don't have all of those. I mean, there's quite a few here that I wouldn't collect, but this allows me some generics, um, some licensed models that I don't collect. So it, having all of the Zamax and pursuing all of the Zamax, and they're also in by release, um, allows me to have at least one each of some of these other castings. So there's that. There's also, I don't do all of the store exclusives, but these kind of unique ones like Zamax and Red Editions, I do collect. So I think this is where it starts. There's the Gasser. Um, yeah, quite a few here. K for Racer, a cool, cool combi. So I collect all of these too. I have a cross section of those castings that are in Red Editions. And then... While these aren't basics, I have other cross-sections. Like, I don't have the entire ID collection, but I have a lot of them, most of the licensed ones, so I keep those. But I've always kept that cross-section collection. Eh. I think I just invented a term. Cross-section collection. Um, Uh-oh, if, if I'm not careful, I'm going to start singing. Cross-section collection. Lamley has a cross-section collection. Um, anyway, I'm not going to be a completist on a lot of models. Some I will still be a completist, but a lot of these, it's just like, I don't have the space. I know sometimes it's cool to go back and cover these on videos, but I also notice that sometimes like some of you are interested in that, some of you are not, and I can always refer to others. And I, I'm just going to try and just have a cleaner collection. I, I still think I'll have plenty of content for, um, for videos. All right. So that's kind of where I'm at. So we'll be walking through all of these. This is what the current basic collection is. We're gonna do Hot Wheels for the next few live streams and we're gonna move on to Matchbox. Uh, we'll be mixing in some Hot Wheels Premium that I'll be getting rid of. You never know, some RLC. We're just gonna go and I'm hoping to have a lot more space. So the one new cross-section collection that I am thinking of doing and I want your guys' thoughts, collection infection, what's up, Dave? Um, DK's here. Nice to see champion DJK. So the one thing I'm I'm thinking about is, as you guys know, for the Lamley Awards, give me your thoughts right now. But for the Lamley Awards, as we as we go throughout the year, I keep a collection of licensed new models. The omissions here, tuned models, they're out, including the Fast and Furious, like Tune Charger out, Tune Super out, motorcycles out, um, and movie cars like Batmobiles out. But licensed replicas of cars, sometimes slightly tuned, but not too tuned, um, I keep, and then we vote on these, right? Keep all the versions, and uh, and then at the end of the year, you vote on best and most disappointing, and so on and so forth. And I've when we finish that, I th tend to take these collections and disperse them. Some I just get rid of, I put them in my donation pile. Others I put into the actual collection, and... I'm thinking of doing a cross-section collection of new models, but I don't know how far back to go. I was thinking, I think the best, one of the best years ever of new models was 2010. They did all of those really cool muscle cars and they had the Datsun 510 and a bunch of others. No, that was 2009. 2009, 2010. I've thought about going all the way back there, but there's some cars that I just don't care about. Maybe I don't have to have them, but the other advantage of that is if I go back and do all, try and collect all of the new models from 2010 on or 2009 on, that's content. That's pursuing these models, like letting you know where I find them, whether it's at a show, online, eBay, whatnot, you know, whatever. As I fill in the gaps, I was thinking those might be. So I want your comments here. I want you guys to tell me what you think. Like, so like the last 15 or so years of new models, 
there's a ton of gaps if I start doing this. And if I get rid of enough models, my heart, my, my plan is that I would have a lot more space and that would not be a huge collection. Cause if we're talking licensed models, we're talking maybe 20 to 25 a year, something like that. I could be wrong. Start collecting every model from the 68. Sorry, man, that ain't happening. <laughs> um, so you guys tell me what you think. So we're thinking 2009. So if I did that, Let's go. Let's start. If I did that, then we start here. And these Acuras, these two right here, the two Integras, they're in. The Acura NSX, that's in. But this is out because as much as I like the NSX, eh, never been my favorite casting. Here, I'm going to move my lighting here a little bit. Never been my favorite casting. It's a Rio Sada casting. Obviously, we have the tribute cards, but we have the, the RLC coming out very, very soon. This one actually isn't a cross-section collection because it's in the Super Treasure Hunt collection. Um, this one, I don't remember what it was, but I think these are going out. Um, this one's in a cross-section collection, so this would be a second one. This is from the uh, Red Editions. If you really want to start now, well, it's like starting 2008, says Doomus. I'll look into that. We get the Tribute Acura NSX, the Rio RLC Tribute NSX, so I think I'm going to remove these. These were just done. These were actually not considered tributes. I mean, they are now, but they were just, uh, Rio did that replica. This one was from that recent uh, JDM series. I think those are out. By the way, well, I'll show you as we get there. There's a link down. So I've got bags. So for these cars, so if I do this now, what I'm going to probably do is, I'll see, now it's like, these would go into the, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. These would go into the um, new model collection. So I'm going to put, I've got baggies for these. Um, so I'm going to start with this empty case over here and I'm going to put the new models, the cars that I'm going to, that I'm going to put in the cross section for the new models. Uh, I'm going to uh, put in that case and then I can start and then later on I can distribute them by way of uh, year. While I'm doing this, I can read your, I have over 5,000 cars of concert and only a few castings to be a completist. I'm the same way. Um, I just can't, I like, Part of this is room. Others, part of it is like, I just don't want to have a large collection. It's too hard to manage. Um, all right, I need a... Uh, I need a box. I was going to... Actually, I know where these are going. I've got a box over here. I've actually done some purging already of other parts of the collection. Um, metal man re instantly regretting. I'm not regretting. I like, it's just like, I want to be organized. All right. More Acuras. So new model, new model, not new model. Nice casting. I'm happy to have the fast and furious, um, version of this, the premium version. So I'm kind of cool there. These colors are nice. Like, look, it, if, if there's no, like, kind of second thought on doing this, then why am I collecting in the first place? I'm getting rid of stuff I like. The idea is that these cars, and these are super, super clean, that these cars are nice and, you know, like, if they're just sitting in my collection doing nothing, why don't they go into someone else's collection where they might be enjoyed a little bit more? So these NSXs are gone. I don't even remember what some of these are from. Some of them might be basic, but... I'm already plowing through baggies. I'm going to probably have to pull some more out. Um, so someone must have asked, because I'm seeing Dumas's answer, they won't take open toys. Hospitals do not take open toys. That's why I donate the models from unboxings. This one's a new model, the uh, Alpina, right? Alpine A110. So that one goes. But I have this one that I already pulled out. That's going into the 
into the pile. And these cars, guys, I'm not donating these. These are cool cars from the collection. I'm not donating them to, like there's plenty of Hot Wheels cars that will go into a hospital that a kid will appreciate, but a lot of these, these are coming directly from my collection. This is an opportunity for people to get cars that maybe they didn't have before. Um, I'm gonna make, there's commerce involved, of course, but uh, that's an extra Acura that I had over here as I started to do the purge. Um, yeah, there's some commerce involved, but I don't think these are going to be terribly expensive if I auction them. And you, and those who want these can have them. You can either have something that uh, came from my collection or something that you didn't have that you want. Some people want it because it's directly from my collection. Another car that... God. Sorry for the... There we go. Kind of... Here's one that I've that I've had in the collection that I just don't care about anymore. This concept one, the uh, HSC, Acura HSC. Here's Jared. Yeah, I donate, guys. I with the unboxing videos I do, I end up that you know the car, the cases that come from Mattel, I end up donating several thousand cars a year. Um, to the local children. Not, and I'm not saying that that's noble on my part. It's it's just, this is a great way for me to get those cases and to, you know, donate them. It's a perfect use for those. Add some background soundtrack from The Purge. Another one that's going to go. I See, like, they're really nice versions of these cars. If, again, if you regretted it, look at that. We've already done a good job. Get these, get rid of these here. Oh, I have an idea. I found another box here. I'll get it open here in a minute. In fact, give me a second, guys. I'm going to... The one thing I didn't prepare for... I got a box from uh, A&J Toys. And when he sends them, it's the K-Case, which I need to do an unboxing on. When he sends them, he sends them in another box. So I'm going to use that box. There we go. All right. And I'm moving my camera for a second because I'm going to get some more baggies out. All right. We're almost to the point where we're going to talk a little bit about Dayton diecast because we're doing this. All right, next one. New model, the Aston Martin. New model. All right, so now, what I was doing with my collection before, actually here, let's do this. Well, we'll talk here in a second. What I was doing in my collection before was keeping all of the plain colored cars with some of these. But this is so redundant that I think we'll um, get rid of some of these. They're cool. So if you don't have the DB5, which is not stunning casting, um, I highly suggest you do it. This is moved, obviously, to premium, too, for I think James Bond. I think there was a Fast and Furious version. Black is nice. But I'm just going to save the British Racing Green and the Silver. Here's another silver. That might have been Fast and Furious or James Bond, something like that. And then there was this kind of racing one. I have one in the Speed Machines collection, too. Speed Machines? No. Um, Heritage. All right, let's talk about the DBS. <clears throat> if you followed me for a long time, you know that I really like this casting. And I have been a completist on it so far. And you can see starting with, and on this, on, let's talk about this while I'm uh, bagging up these DB5s. So first edition, that international first edition, here's a variation, a wheel variation that I actually opened. Here's the wheel variations, like this is what it was. This is the, this was the five pack variation about the time that the Datsun 510 five pack variation was out there, the Target exclusive, that's a Target exclusive. There's a version. There's a 10-pack exclusive. There's another 10-pack exclusive with wheel variations. And these are all like mainline, mainline, mystery model from Australia, uh, mainline, James Bond, I think. 
mainline five pack, five pack, five pack. Um, what do you guys think? So I could get rid of the five pack ones, keep all the planes. I could, this is the first edition. I could keep both of those. I really like this collection with these rare variations, but someone else might want them. And now that they did the premium, the James Bond premium, I'm kind of happy with just that one. And I'm, my whole point is that I'm moving away from being a completist. I have to weigh the variation. I pretty much ditch variations for the most part. Now, obviously, you'll see, you've seen a couple here already, but for the most part, I don't have them anymore. Here for the 59NX OH5. OH5. Well, we'll have to talk about that. I don't know. Maybe. I'm thinking the five pack should go. The rest. We'll talk about the bat in a minute. Um, keep the multi packs and keep the new models. The multi packs are gone. I, if I get rid of, for sure, if I'm going to purge part of the DBS collection, the multi packs are gone. Um, all right, so this would go in the first edition collection, right? The variation, If I'm getting rid of the rest, then I have all these cool variations. Would you guys be interested? I mean, if, if I put these up for auction, would people want them? Would people bid on them? My, my, I'm back and forth. Like, it's nice to know I have this, but I don't know if I care that I have it. I think I wonder if people, other people who would want to have some of these variations would rather have them. <laughs> Do that. I want the DBS wheel very. So it would mean that this would go into my first edition collection and the rest. This is a rare one too, man. This is super rare. International and black. Let's do it. You know what? This is what purging is. Let's do it. Someone else is going to really enjoy these. It's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. I will auction these on whatnot. I will keep my one silver for the first editions, for the new models, and everything else. What do I think will be the next Japanese? Oh, you know what, guys? I saw some 2024s yesterday. Um, I'm hoping that I can preview them. And uh, there's some really, really cool stuff, but we'll talk about that another time. That's me teasing. All right, guys, these wheel variations. So when I do the next whatnot auction, these will definitely go into auction so that the person, so I'm not going to like give away a rare variation. I'm going to do it by auction because you want the person who is a variation collector to get these if they're willing to. So you, that's by doing auction. Yeah, you, I benefit from someone bidding high, but. Also, the person who really wants these benefits is from winning them, too. So, two ways to look at that. And I pursued all these myself. Like, I've had these cars for 14 years, I think. Something like that. Oh, I can't believe it. Look at me. I'm like, this is where it's like... You could talk about the mindset of a collector, too. It's kind of like... It's hard. It's actually kind of hard. It's almost like we get this weird psychological attachment to these things that from a mental health perspective is so interesting to explore. Like, what is it about? And what is it about me wanting to have every color? Like, what is that? Um, will we see Japanese historics for? No idea. That's actually a good question. I don't know. I, I kind of think we will. And I don't, I'm not saying that with any knowledge. I just, it seems like it's too cool of a series to stop. <clears throat> so yeah, the silver PR5, I'm going to put that up. I understand for variation collectors, it's kind of weird to not have it carded, but if you get it from my collection, <clears throat> I can at least, sorry for that, I can at least document that it came from mine. I can sign something or whatever. Let me drink a water here real quick. 
Um, All right, guys, I want to, while I'm doing this, so did you notice this? I'm going to pull this out. This is that slot divider that I've talked a lot about, and I get questions every time I show it. And this is one of the big deals. This is actually, this, this series of live streams, if I had a sponsor, if I had to officially say I had a sponsor, it would be Dayton Diecast. I've got their sticker here. Let's see, where is it? Here it is. DaytonDieCast.com. Now, here's the cool deal. Like I was telling them, I'm going to reorganize my collection. The problem is, so many times, let's go, let me get rid of this stuff. So many times with these cases, these, um, uh, what are they called? They're called thread, uh, creative option thread organizers. And they they were built for die cast, but they're also built for sewing, those like sewing cases for spools of thread. But when they first designed, the, uh, designed, the, uh, designed these, and they've always kept this design, they always left this one slot here in case there was something that was a little bit bigger. And all that's great, but it's very rare. Sorry, I gotta do this. It's very rare for a Hot Wheels collector to have the need for this. Occasionally you do. So Dayton Diecast, I just, I remember seeing this a few years ago and I was like, oh, this is brilliant. So Dayton Diecast created this little slot divider and it's so simple in the way it's done, but it works so well. It's got these little notches and you, all you have to do is just kind of match up the notches with these with the two slots up above and kind of slide it in. And all of a sudden, what is, what is it? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 20. What is, a, what is a 24 count case and you eliminate two so it's only 22 cars is instantly, now you have 24 slots for cars and you don't have to like, and if you'll see this as I go through my collection, you'll see I have this cap always almost entirely, like there's occasionally a big car, but it's filled in. And it's so brilliant. And so I was like, dude, let me support you. He's got a small business. He's selling them. And um, I think he might be here watching. But uh, but I thought this was so smart, so ingenious, makes these cases that much better. And for someone like me who doesn't have a lot of space, I mean, think about it. This is four slots created in every case by buying these little slot dividers. That adds up so quick. And I mean, it's like, it. I mean, tons and tons of cars. DaytonDieCast.com, here's the cool thing. If you're in the United States right now and you have these cases and you want these, if you use the code word LAMLY on Dayton DieCast, uh, the website, you'll get free shipping. That's just today and tomorrow. He might do it again later on, but if you like these things, I'd go buy a set and you get free shipping right now. So, Happy Duckling likes the oversized. Yeah, but when I, I agree with you. There are times where I use the oversized slot, but that's nine out of 10 times I don't. So I know so many people want these and you can go buy them at Dayton Diecast, type in Lamley at checkout and you get free shipping. That's pretty sweet in the United States. All right. So this has instantly become a new edition case, right? You guys were looking at the bat. This is the uh, Alfa Romeo BAT concept. BAT9. There's a whole story behind this. It was a one-hit wonder. We've talked about it before. I've kept it in the collection. I don't remember when it was a new model. I think it was 2000. I don't want to put it in the new model collection. I think it was 2007, I think. So it wouldn't be part of that collection. I might have to just... Actually, you know what? Since we're... Let's start the actual A collection. That's one that I just probably need to keep for content because there's always references to the one hit wonders. So, so I'm putting the new models over to the side here. We'll pull that out again as we've got more of them and clearly we're gonna have more, but we'll start this collection. That was 2005, yeah. So it doesn't go in the new model collection. It just goes in the Alpha Batai's collection. The big slots are for team transport. Krypton, they're not. They're not, they don't fit. And these cases were created probably 20 years before Team Transport ever came out. All right, next one. Audi. All right, I'm going to, I'm gonna try and see if we can't keep that one without falling. I 
actually let's just get this out of the way. I'm, I'll keep these over here. So we have a new model collection going. We have no other cross-section collections being formed. Target's are already done. So we're at uh, Aston Martin right now, right? That Alfa Romeo got lost in the shuffle. I think that's the only Alfa Romeo I've got in the collection, right? It is. Now yeah, the premium I already do too. Okay. First edition. I don't care about that car, but we'll do it. And then red edition, but I already have the red edition in the red edition collection. So that one's out. And this was, I think, maybe a five pack or something like that. I think that's what it was. They're out. I don't I don't care about, I like some hyper cars, but I don't care that much about them. <coughs> Excuse me. So this one will go into the new model collection with the date and die cast divider. And these are gonna actually be broken up by year eventually. bag these up. If you don't care about the casting, no need for the first edition. Well, the one thing I like about having all the first editions is I do get a cross section of the casting and I do have one for reference in making videos. That's the one thing I'm considering here um, in doing that. Okay, these go into the purge pile. Okay, the Audi Quattro, first edition keeping Keeping that, it's also in the cross section for the super treasure hunt. This is awesome. This is awesome. Zamac, but there's always that. I, I like this casting. It's great as a rally car. It needs the rally. It's staying. So that goes into the Audi collection. So I might, okay, first edition. I'm just going to put the first editions over here, but the rest of them will go into the, Done. Okay, those go into the Audi collect or into the regular collection. The other two go into the first edition collection. You can kind of see what I'm doing here now. All right. Done. So just like the super treasure hunts. Oh boy. And I might think, I might put them back into the Audi collection, but I want to have all the new models together. Okay, new model. There was always this, also a Super Treasure Hunt new model for that one. So that one going into new models. This one, I'm like the Audi RS6 Avant, but I'm not going to be a completist on this one. I just want the plain ones. And so this one goes, this one's out, this one stays. So, and I've... Oh yeah, there's another one coming. So, Audi collection, right there, right there. First edition collection. Give myself here. You know what I'm gonna do? Hold on a second, guys. Putting my, I had my computer out. I have them. Over here. All right. First edition collection. There you go. This one's out. We have the black Audi Avant. Which one's the black one? Is, there, is that a new one coming out? Is that a recolor? Or are you talking about the premium? Because I also have them in the premium. All right, this one, first edition. That will go into the first edition case. I'm not real keen on this one. What is this, the RS5? RS5 Coupe. Kind of nice to see those together like that. But already in the Zamet collection, it's out. This was a nine pack or whatever, all out. So those are gone. Cool, but don't generate the ton of interest. And it's nice to have just the Zamac and the... Oh, and there's a... Yeah, see, in my purging. That one, too. 
leads to another question, guys, that we'll get to here as we're going. We're already 35 minutes in. Let's go fast. We're still on the A's. <laughs> All right. Oh, look, another Batmobile. All right, the Audis are out. Um, going back to Aston real quick. So I talked about cross sections, and you guys know I have a Moon Eyes cross section uh, collection. Any basic Moon Eyes car goes like yellow. I've thought about others like Advan, um, Falcon, Tire, like doing cross sections of those, but I'm debating Golf. What do you guys think? Should I do a collection of all the Golf cars? It would be hard to do. I don't have a ton. I feel like with me pursuing the first editions, that's enough work. But doing the golf, like there's nothing about, and then we're getting the premium version of this casting. It'll obviously I'll put it, put one in the first edition, but functional histories thinks golf is a definite. Do you guys agree with functional histories? You're in for a long haul. Yeah. Happy duckling says yes to golf. I'm getting a lot of yeses. Any no's? They would look really well together. Chosen Beard says it's not necessary. Many people saying keep. You know, I'll put it to the side for now. And let's see as we go kind of how that forms. All right. Audi R8 Spider. First edition in white. First edition in red. Those stay, obviously. This slot was for the blue. And I have that in the Super Treasure Hunt collection. And then we have this one that came from that sports car set. I'm trying to remember. It looks nice. I do like this casting. I'll um I'll put in the first editions. I think we'll call it there on those because we have the super treasure hunt silver's out some of you guys are saying I should keep that one I don't know I think I'm just going to do the other two I think I'm good there all right that's done let's move around we're still on Audi RS2 This one, not even a hesitation. This one stays. So first edition, first edition. This is an all-timer. This is an all-time casting for me. So it's like, it's just something I love. So it's going into the first edition collection. Sorry for the hit there. There's that. There goes those. Obviously, the black is part of the Super Treasure Hunt cross-section collection, but because I want to, I don't care what color, I don't care what deco, that that I will be a completist on. I feel like that's pretty definitive, right? You saw me, I didn't even hesitate on that one. So there's the premium coming out that I would add, that I'll add to the premium collection. All right, I like this e-tron. There's the first edition. That will go in the first edition collection. There's the other recolor. There's the Target Red Edition. I think we talked about this when I was opening models last week. We'll put in the first edition. I think I'll be good with that, right? I think that's, it's a great casting, but I don't think we need any more of them. So I put those in there. So this one's out. I like it with those wheels though. I just think I'm not going to care that much later. So that one's out. Bentley. First edition, keep that. First edition, keep that. This was a first edition as well as recolor from GameStop. This one's out. This one's out. And then we'll get to BMW. That's going to be tough. Tough, tough, tough. Let's get rid of these. This one, I like, it's pretty easy because the mini GT version of this casting is 
like if you want a good that's I, you know it's apples to oranges in a sense but i'm just happy to have the this version that uh oops that mini gt did all right so this one goes into the first edition pile this seems like a hefty task already you guys see how many we're already we've already done one side of the first editions so and that and we're just into the beginning of bees bmw what do you guys think what am I doing with these cars? They're going on whatnot. I'm going to give some away. I'm going to auction some off. I'm going to just sell some in my buy it now. You want them? Go buy them. Now that won't be until I'll announce when I'm going to do this, but I'll put these all together and figure it out. Functional histories. All BMWs must remain. Here's my issue with the 2002. Fantastic, fantastic casting. But who cares about this deco? Like... I do like the racing version, and it's obviously first edition, so those stay. But and there's really nice premium versions. How many? I think I've got. Hold on. Give me a second here. I'm looking, looking, looking. Where was that BMW? Yeah. From the premium display. The Eibach. I'm just happy with that. And there was the... Uh, I don't know. I just feel like I'm good with the, with the premiums here. I keep the first editions. Don't need it. But... If someone says to keep them, like, at least, like, we know now, like, someone can, I like, this deco means, ugh, I don't like it. And someone might, someone might want the Zamac, which I already have in the cross section. This one's nice. But, I don't know. I don't need it. I don't need it. So, first edition. <laughs> it means. So first edition, these go. So I have basics. There's also the Zamac. If this is ever a super treasure hunt, obviously I keep those. But we're emptied out. All right. So these go in here. We'll start. We'll go to the next case. These are gone. And this is this is where I feel good. Like it's like I love the casting, but I don't need these. And someone else might want them. The 2002. Keep the black one. I'm not gonna. They're gone. They're gone. Andres just, oh, I hope I said your name right, just ordered, um, said free shipping, he ordered 100 of the dividers. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, really cool of Dayton Diecast to offer free shipping here. This allows you to go and buy these dividers. They are so helpful. We've already been doing so much purging that is, but we'll get to these points. These dividers like save so much space for me. As I'm getting rid of that, man, I can't believe it. Look at me. I'm proud of myself, guys. It's like buying a boat, right? You like to add to the collection, but then you like to get rid of them too. Jason, order some more. Get that free shipping if you missed out already. Okay, look at that. We're done. We got an empty case. That is a good feeling. All right, so we'll use that here in a minute. You guys, look. We've gotten rid of three cases, and this is all that I have in my in my actual collection so far out that's not cross-section. Nine slots. That. Oh, yay. Making space, man. Making space. Organizing. Let's keep BMW going. Maybe we'll get through the Bs here. All right. Look at this mess. Look at this mess. Okay, this is gonna be a toughie. What's funny is, all right, so let's go to the BMW Batmobile, that they call it. 
Oh, look, a Batmobile, but this is the CSL. Absolutely love this casting. There's a Toy Fair version. There's a premium version, but it's never been in car culture, which is shocking to me. It's a stunner of a casting. Super, super nice. It's got the BMW racing. First edition, I'm keeping it. First edition, I'm keeping that. When they look like this, I'm keeping that. Now, and then the cross section, I've already got one, but I'm gonna do it. I'm keeping all of these. The Zamek would be in the cross section collection. This would be in the cross section collection because there was a super treasure hunt version. And this would be in the cross section collection because there's a red edition. So I'm just gonna keep the whole thing. Why not? So uh, I just really, really like this casting. So in it goes. One, two into the new edition collection. Done. And an easy addition to the regular collection, which also means we're going to need a Dayton die cast here. So let's do this here. Let's add a Dayton die cast slot here. Fits right in, just pops right in. One two, three, four, done. Done, practically doubled that collection, huh? Sense of theme here, kind of more classic, right? The, you got the Audi, I mean, the wagon is fairly new, and then the BMW, and that's of the basics. Starting to see where my interests are, All right? E30. So this one, this isn't even a first edition, but I do like it a lot. Just because I like the gold wheels. This the first edition was it wasn't wouldn't be called a first edition, but it was that racing version. And we've had some premium versions ever since, but. Um, What do you guys think? The deco's clean on this one, kind of nice. And then it just seems like they kind of repeat it. Police is nice, Fours is okay, this one's okay. The mystery version's really cool. What do you guys think? Here's what I'm thinking on this one. I don't have to be scientific, right? If it's a livery I like, I'll keep it. All right, here I go. Here's what I'm gonna do. I don't need to be a completist on this casting. This one's in. This one is in, out, out. Kmart exclusive, out. So that's a, someone will want, definitely want that one. Um, was this a baggy model or something? I don't remember. Out. Forza. Out. Police. Don't we have one? I'm looking, I'm looking. Yeah, we have the premium police one. But I like it. It's in. This racing one is in. Done. Rest out. Out, out, out. Okay, guys, this is cool. See, so some people might want these. So let's bag these up. Forza exclusive. It's actually quite nice and white. Really, some people don't like this casting. I do like it. Keep the Forza one. Well, I'm not gonna, so that means you could, Cobalt, you could buy it. Police means police in Germany. I am aware of that, Jared, and I like that one. Um, Polizze. All right. You like the one with the blue and red on the fender? That's, it's nice too, and that's, you know, it's got the BMW colors. Yeah, that's a, I mean, this one, 
Polizze. This is a good one, though. This is the Kmart version that I'm getting rid of. So I would say that's one you definitely want to want to pursue. I'll put that up for auction. All right, let's talk about this one. M3 GTR 94. So first edition, so we know that one's going to stay. Here's its recolor. Looks really nice. Okay, so now we have blue, black, orange. I do like the racing decos on this one. And this, what was this one from? I don't even remember. Was that a Target exclusive? Nice deco, terrible wheels. We'll add the first editions. We'll already do that. Target says Dumas. So this one goes here. You can see how the BMW first edition start kind of coming together with the colors on it. Um, E46. Terrible wheels. Yes, Dumas. <laughs> The question. Uh, I'll get to your question a little bit. Uh, missing black BMW Premium. What? Oh, you're talking about the acrylic, like the RLC? Because I've got those. They're in a different part. They're not. This is just basic. <laughs> what do you guys think on these? I'm inclined for space to say goodbye, but they are nice. E36. You like the black? I do too. They're staying. These two are staying. Just like the E46, these two are staying. I like them. Or like the E36. All right. Or E30. All right. They're in. Blue and black are in. These are out. Okay. Let's move on after we get these bagged up. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. All right. Okay, these first editions, they stay. That's easy. Let's go around. These I don't care that much about. Got a lot going on. Sorry, it's really busy here. There we go. Out. This one is in the Super Treasure Hunt. Actually, I don't know. I wasn't collecting the two counterparts, so that's a possibility. This one's really nice. Z4. It's a nice casting, but I think I'm good with just the just the two first editions. So let's put those in the first edition collection, and I'm happy there. So let me get this. Perfectly fine with those. Other oh, three get bagged. Have I ever had second thoughts? I mean, isn't that the definition of collecting? There's things I've gotten rid of that I wish I never got rid of. And there will be plenty here that I get rid of that later on I'll be like, ah, shoot, wish I had it, whether it's for a video or for, um, you know, just for fun. Like, I, I, if I, if I still, I could do a, I could do a whole, like, for everything that I've kept, I think, oh my gosh, I, like, I got rid of my John Morton signed RLC um, number 40, 
44. It was number 44. The RLC signed BRE um, 510. The first 46 were signed by John Morton and distributed by the Hot Wheels team. And I traded for it, sold it for, I think, six or $700, which is a lot. But considering I could sell it for like five or 6,000 now, that's a bummer. All right. Okay, look at this one. I'm talking about wheel variations here. I have a couple that I'm still going to keep because they're so interesting. They're so rare. All right, this is the uh, M3 GT3, right? Or GT2, sorry. First edition. First edition. Transitional first edition. Notice that the white had the chrome-lipped PR5s. The black had the red-lipped PR5s. This I found in a multi-pack, the black with the chrome-lipped PR5s. I have pictures of the pack somewhere, keeping that. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to keep this whole casting. I just think it's so cool. They did switch to a metal spoiler. I'd love to see this one go premium. This is a casting. I just, I just like it. And it's super appropriate as a, as a uh, racing car. So let's do first edition. Let's do first edition. In fact, let's. And because there's a variation, Let's put that one in there too. In the first edition collection, add the Dayton diecast divider, <clears throat> and the rest of these go into the actual collection right here. One. This was uh, one of those baggy models. If you remember, I pulled a no tampa once when I did the I did a live stream. The red I really like and. White and Zamac. Done on one side for the actual collection. Okay. All right. I'm trying to go back and see some white first edition. So nice. Agree. All right. Let's go. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need another drink of water. A lot of talking today. That's the one thing about purging. And we're, you know what? Let's see how many more BMWs we've got, because we're almost to an hour. Let's get through BMW, and then we'll start tomorrow with Bugatti. Fair? Okay, so this is the uh, 2010 Mattel BMW M3. Nice to get the front. Sucks to not get the back taillights. You got the M3 deco on it. But that's first edition. This was the recolor. Then we had these. Here, I'll go down. Sorry, we'll go down a little bit. We had these plain versions. They're fine. I don't care much about them. This one's fine. Don't care much about it. This one's fine. Don't care much about it. So the first editions, they go into the first edition collection. The rest are gone. So white and red. I think that's a, that's a good enough representation of this casting. The black is nice, but I don't need it. Um, well, by going through my premiums, yes, it won't be as, well, yes. I'll just say yes right now, but I still have like, you know, and, and what's going to happen is I have a whole carded collection of like car culture and things like that. And so that will be a little bit different because I have all the loose cars. I have the entire car culture collection. I'm not, not getting rid of any in there, but um, I'm going to... Uh, I have so many carded and I might try and keep a whole car culture collection carded, but I have a ton of other extras. So you never know. That might be in the future. All right. These done. Going into the pile, into the purge pile. There's some good stuff here, guys. I'll put them up for like, and I've got some stuff that I will show you. Those who buy these cars get something special, but we'll talk about that later. All right. I dig this casting. This is the M4, right? Yep. Look at this. They did this one right. The M3, they didn't do right. The M4, they got, we got tail lights, we got headlights. Casting is near perfect. First edition, and then the recolor. Love that color. So those go in to the first edition pile already. We'll just do that right now. And then let's talk about, well, let's get this out. Another empty case. 
That's three, I think. Um, all right, let's get the rest of these BMWs and then we'll call it a day. And then I'll be back tomorrow a little bit earlier than uh, today, just because it's Sunday and I got some things to do in the afternoon. But we'll be back and we'll do it another hour and we'll see how far we get. All right, so there's the BMW ends right there. Okay, so red, same thing. Got the tail lights. I'm not leaving yet, Cisco. Got the headlights. Let's let's do these beamers. Love the white version, keeping that. Love the blue version, keeping that. Love the light blue version, keeping that. Forza, I don't care about it, it's out. Safety car, Gran Turismo safety car, I like it. And then this one, I don't like the stripes on it. So I, if it were, if it didn't have those stripes on the hood, I'd I'd keep it. So let's see. Let me move this one back. Red in, white in, blue in, light blue in. Safety car in. I like the safety car. I like the idea of like that with my other race cars. So that one's in. These two purged. There's, guys, there's the challenge again. There's that weird collector challenge of like, yeah, but it's only two. And I've already got like. You've got almost all of them. Why don't you just keep the other two? That's where you got to draw the line. That's where you say, no, no. Slap yourself on the hand, say, no. Don't, you just drew the line. So when others come out, you don't need to worry about them. You can show them and show them in an unboxing. Think that's cool. All right, let's do the M2. First edition is fantastic. Fantastic. I know it's a little big, but um, the red and the blue versions are perfect. Nope. Too plain. Way too plain. This police version is actually really cool, but it's out. And this Zamac version. I don't know. This wasn't a Zamac. Like, this was in that Zamac set. I don't collect these. Out. Let's just do the first editions. And you know what? That already makes me go... So, first edition, first edition. I'm going to get rid of these other three of these M2s. We also have the premium version, which looks so good in the BMW Deco. Um, guys, we're off to a really, really good start. Um... <clears throat> I'm going to go into, let's see, this is why you do it on the fly, oops, see ya, that Polizia is out, because we have the uh, premium version, I didn't keep this M2, and that makes you go, all right, if I'm not keeping one, I don't need to keep the other, there's nothing that's telling me I have to keep it feels good about getting rid of it. I might regret it later, but these are out. Okay, so here's where we're at. We're through BMW. We're still on the Bs. We'll start up with Bugatti tomorrow. Here's the things to remember. Date and die cast. Go today or tomorrow. By midnight tomorrow is when this sale ends. You buy a set, you get free shipping if you use the code word Lamley. If you joined us late, it's for these dividers. You can get packs these dividers that create this big slot into two slots. And it is so, so helpful. I've already started using them, as you can see, with these new additions that I'm keeping uh, collected. So, so helpful. And I totally appreciate Dayton Diecast being part of this, making this purge for me and this reorganization so clean. And then also passing that on to you guys. So you guys can do the same if you get these cases, these creative option cases. I'll put a link in the description. 
uh, where you can get them at Joanne or Amazon. I'll look for those links. I'll put them in there once I uh, once I finish this. But this is how it's going to go, guys. I thought we'd get much, much further. I was prepared for Chevrolet, Cadillac. We didn't even touch it. So we've still got, we'll start with Bugatti. I'm liking where we're going with the new models. You guys have helped me with that. We'll continue that. I might change my mind over time and we'll, uh, as we're going, and then we'll uh, we'll do this. Back tomorrow, we'll start the what nights, whatnot streams maybe next weekend. I will announce that, but we'll back tomorrow to do more purging. we got more cars we need to purge. We've already got a box of them filled, but uh, there'll be a ton. So I will uh, put up the link for the new stream and I'll announce it. I'm guessing maybe like 10 or 11 Pacific time tomorrow. Um, I'll let you know. Thank you, everybody. I will be back tomorrow. More purging. Bye.